Hey guys, Todd Helms here with my wife Grace tonight to bring you our favorite pheasant recipe. Everybody in the wingman crew likes to hunt pheasants, but you gotta find a way to eat them. We found an amazing way to use the whole bird, all the meat off the bird. We just skin the bird and gut it, clean it up, wash it up, put it in the freezer, and we can use it as we need it. The recipe we're going to bring you today is not original to wingmen. This, I have to give credit where credit is due. We discovered this recipe years ago from Chris Winkleman. If you think that name is familiar, think Babe Winkleman and Babe Winkleman Outdoors, the TV show. His wife, Babe Winkleman's wife, Chris, this is her recipe. It is a recipe for pheasant pot pie, and it's a staple in our house. Is it an easy recipe? Yeah, just take some time. There's lots of steps to it, but if you pre-cook your meat, it's pretty easy. And we've pre-cooked all of the ingredients for this stuff. Grace, how did you cook the pheasant? Well, for the pheasant, I just took the whole bird, um, minus the heads, and rubbed them all over with kosher salt, put them in a slow cooker or crock pot, um, set on high for about three hours with two cans of chicken broth, um, just so it was about, they're about three quarters submerged in the broth. And I also sauteed some onions and garlic in olive oil and added a little rosemary and thyme just to taste and added that in there as well. And it just came out, falls off the bone, great flavor. And it's all ready. You can do it the day, day before, day of, whichever works. It just makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to make a pot pie with it. That's a great way that we've found to cook pheasants for a lot of different uses. Uh, if you like chicken salad sandwiches, you can make pheasant salad sandwiches. Guys, anything you can do with a chicken, you can do with a pheasant. You can do with most white meat game birds. You just don't want to overcook it, right? Right. Otherwise, it gets dry, it gets nasty, and we don't want to do that. All right, so let's take a look at our ingredients. So the recipe calls for onions. I like to saute mine first so that they're not at all crunchy and we don't like a ton of onions in ours so I I just do those in a little frying pan ahead of time and I'm just going to add those in with the potatoes and carrots and peas. The recipe doesn't call for potatoes but we like to add those in so we just cut up a few whatever looks good and then uh, I boil those with the, the carrots and then I just add the peas in right before I drain it. Those can just be set aside and waiting as long as you want. Pie crust, you can do store-bought, you can do homemade. Everything. You make you make a homemade pie crust, right? Yes. Yeah. We just like to do everything homemade. Why are you covering that? Just to keep it from drying out. Usually it doesn't sit too long, but... How, much, how many birds is that? Two. And the recipe calls for about four cups of meat. That's roughly four cups. Just like when you make any sauce or gravy sauce. Start butter. with water. Let that melt. And not too hot. No, yeah, I don't want it to burn. The butter's all melted, so we'll add our flour. Half a cup. I'm gonna give that just let that cook and stir it for a good couple minutes at least. About medium heat. You want to make sure that flour cooks so you don't your sauce doesn't taste like flour. So we've been cooking the butter and flour for a few minutes, kind of pulling away from the sides and sticking together a little bit. We can go ahead and add the broth while we're stirring. Are you going to dump all that in at once? Yes. The order now doesn't matter. So we'll just give a little extra flavor. Pepper. And I just give it a couple shakes of salt. Experience is the best teacher, huh? Yeah, people can always salt the pie later if they need more, but it's always been just fine, in my experience. The bullion usually provides enough salt, I don't go too crazy. So how long are we cooking this white sauce? So I usually turn the heat up just a little bit, um, but I, I watch it, because it will start to thicken, usually five to ten minutes, it kind of varies, but, and you want it nice and thick, you don't want you cut into that pie, you don't want it running all over the place. 
So just be patient. Keep stirring it. If it's taking a while, just turn your heat up and keep stirring. This is the finished product of our white sauce. Nice and thick. Yeah, it's perfect. And it'll just keep thickening as you, you let it sit a little while. You want to use a fairly deep dish pie plate. We will start with putting about half of the potatoes and vegetables, and onions in the bottom, and we'll take our pheasant and do another layer. So we're going to pour that and let it soak in. We'll fit as much as we can. I usually end up with a few leftovers. It's about as much as we'll be able to fit. And you just kind of want to, when it's nice and thick like this, it won't overflow as easily. It'll just kind of seep right in. So this is your top Cover crust. On. Well, that was easy. Or you made it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works well to just, when you're doing your top, just to roll it around the rolling pin and then trim this a little bit. You want just enough of an overhang so you can tuck, tuck it under the bottom and crimp it together to seal it up. So you want to tuck the top under oh, yeah. the bottom all the way around. And once you get everything tucked in, two fingers, one hand, one finger to the hand, pinch it together. That'll seal it pretty well. Sometimes you'll get a few leaks. Not a big deal. It still tastes great. Couldn't you just make this in like a casserole dish with a pie crust on top? Yes. Uh, actually, I have before when I've um, been making it for a crowd done that. You could just put it, uh, kind of piece it together. You could, you could still do a crust on the bottom and just piece it in. And then uh, you could even do strips on top or you could do a full one on top and just press it together. Uh, when you're trying to make a double batch or a triple batch, it's usually easier to do it that way. Sure. But yeah, you could, you could experiment and do lots of different things. Or like you could even skip the crust and just do the, the cream on But the... this is the way we yeah. like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I can already taste it. So, what's the next step, Grace? So I already have the, the oven preheated to 425. Uh, we'll slide it right in there. Now the recipe doesn't specify a uh, baking time, at least not the recipe I printed off. Uh, so I usually just do it by eye as far as when the crust is nice and brown, nice and golden brown. Um, usually probably 30 to 40 minutes you'll want to check it, but it could take up to an hour. Are we just waiting on the pie crust? Pretty much. Um, and depending on when you cooked the meat, the meat may have been in the fridge, you'll you know, need to warm up, everything needs to warm up again. Uh, but I just wait till that crust looks, when it, once it's nice and golden, then sometimes you'll see some bubbling coming out of the slits. Crust is brown, it's nice and golden. We're gonna take it out. And we usually don't let the pie rest very much. We'll let it kinda cool. It's not like a fruit pie that has to set up. 15, 20 minutes, or as long as you have. You know, if you're waiting to eat, give it at least, I'd say at least 15 minutes, but um, up to a half hour or more isn't gonna hurt. If your sauce was nice and thick, shouldn't be runny at all. It should all hold together. And once it cools, it's ready to take a bite. All right. So this is the favorite wingman pheasant pot pie recipe. You can do pheasant. You can do turkey. Any of the partridges or grouses, uh, doves. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Again, thank you, Chris Winkleman. <laughs> I don't know you, but this is your recipe. This is the world famous pheasant pot pie. Enjoy. For more great videos, head on over to YouTube on the Wingmen channel. Give us a like, mash that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments of this video what else it is you want to see. And until next time, guys, we'll see you in the field.